The Messiah Question, Why the Jewish People Reject Jesus Introduction The question of why the Jewish people reject Jesus as the Messiah is a complex and multifaceted issue. Throughout history, there have been various reasons put forth to explain the Jewish skepticism towards Jesus' claims. This document aims to delve into some of the main reasons why the Jewish people have historically rejected Jesus as the Messiah. Lack of historical evidence One of the key reasons why many Jewish people reject Jesus as the Messiah is the lack of historical evidence to support his messianic claims. While the New Testament offers accounts of his ministry, there is a lack of external documentation or testimony from non-Christian sources to lend credibility to these claims. Many Jewish people view the absence of historical evidence as a significant barrier to accepting Jesus as the Messiah. Failure to meet expectations The Jewish people have certain expectations regarding the Messiah according to ancient prophecies and traditions. These expectations revolve around the notion of a Messiah who will bring about a restoration of Israel, restore justice, and establish a new covenant with God. While Jesus did perform miracles and preach about the kingdom of God, he did not fulfill all the predictions of the Messiah found in Jewish scriptures. This failure to meet expectations further contributes to the Jewish rejection of Jesus as the Messiah. Disrespect for Jewish Law Another important factor contributing to Jewish rejection of Jesus is his perceived disregard for Jewish law and tradition. Many Jewish people see Jesus' teachings and actions as challenging or contradicting certain aspects of Jewish law, such as the observance of circumcision and the dietary laws. This disregard for Jewish law is seen as incompatible with the concept of the Messiah as a divinely appointed figure upholding and preserving Jewish traditions. Messianic Claims Conflict with Rabbinic Teachings The Jewish religious establishment, including rabbis and scholars, have historically played an influential role in shaping Jewish beliefs and practices. Many rabbis and scholars have rejected Jesus' messianic claims because they conflict with established rabbinic teachings and interpretations. The Jewish emphasis on studying Torah and adhering to rabbinic authority can make it difficult to accept a Messiah who challenges or reinterprets these teachings. Political and Religious Factors The rejection of Jesus as the Messiah can also be influenced by political and religious factors. During the time of Jesus, Jerusalem was under the control of the Roman Empire, and the Jewish people were under duress. Some Jews may have rejected Jesus' claims to Messiahship for fear that it would further antagonize the Romans and lead to further persecution. Additionally, the Jewish religious establishment may have rejected Jesus to preserve their own power and authority. Conclusion In conclusion, the reasons why the Jewish people have historically rejected Jesus as the Messiah are multifaceted. The lack of historical evidence, failure to meet expectations, disregard for Jewish law, conflicts with rabbinic teachings, and political and social considerations all play a role in shaping Jewish skepticism towards Jesus. While there are various perspectives within Judaism, the historical rejection of Jesus as the Messiah remains a significant point of contention. Chapter 1, Introduction In this book, we delve into the complex and deeply rooted reasons why the Jewish people reject Jesus as the Messiah. This rejection has been a source of contention and debate between Jews and Christians for centuries, with theological, historical, cultural, and societal factors all playing a role in shaping Jewish perspectives on this issue. The historical context of Jesus' life and teachings is crucial in understanding why many Jews do not accept Him as the Messiah. Jesus emerged within a Jewish society that held specific beliefs and practices, which differed from His teachings in significant ways. This disconnect continues to shape Jewish views on Jesus to this day. The theological differences between Judaism and Christianity regarding the concept of the Messiah are another key factor in the rejection of Jesus. While Christians see Jesus as the fulfillment of Messianic prophecies, Jews have a different understanding of what the Messiah will be and accomplish, leading to diverging interpretations of key scriptures. Cultural and societal implications also play a role in the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah. Accepting Jesus can have profound effects on Jewish identity and community ties, which may lead many to resist such a change. Religious authorities and traditions have also played a significant role in shaping the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah. Throughout history, Jewish leaders have reinforced the belief that Jesus does not meet the criteria of the Messiah, further solidifying the rejection of his claims. In the following chapters, we will explore these issues in depth, examining the impact of historical events, external influences, ongoing theological debates, and personal reasons for the continued rejection of Jesus as the Messiah by the Jewish people. Through this exploration, We hope to shed light on this complex and multifaceted issue, fostering greater understanding and dialogue between Jews and Christians. Chapter 2, Why the Jewish People Reject Jesus as Messiah Historical Background of Jewish Rejection 
The historical background of Jewish rejection of Jesus as the Messiah is a complex and multifaceted issue that has deep roots in the theological, cultural, and societal beliefs of the Jewish people. Understanding why the Jewish people reject Jesus as the Messiah requires a careful examination of the historical context in which Jesus lived and taught, as well as the theological differences between Judaism and Christianity regarding the concept of the Messiah. One key aspect of the historical background of Jewish rejection is the interpretation of key prophecies in Jewish scripture that shape views on the Messiah. For centuries, Jewish scholars and religious authorities have debated the meaning of prophecies in the Hebrew Bible that Christians believe point to Jesus as the Messiah. These differing interpretations have contributed to the theological divide between Judaism and Christianity on the question of the Messiah. Additionally, the role of religious authorities and traditions in shaping the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah cannot be overstated. Throughout history, Jewish religious leaders have played a crucial role in maintaining the distinctiveness of Jewish identity and theology, often in opposition to perceived threats from outside influences. The influence of external factors, such as Christian persecution and anti-Semitism, has also played a significant role in reinforcing Jewish rejection of Jesus as the Messiah. Furthermore, the ongoing theological debates within Judaism regarding the nature of the Messiah and Messianic prophecies continue to shape Jewish perspectives on the question of Jesus as the Messiah. The significance of Jewish concepts of redemption and salvation in relation to the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah is another important factor to consider. Ultimately, the reasons for Jewish rejection of Jesus as the Messiah are deeply personal and spiritual, influenced by family and community ties, as well as broader theological, cultural, and historical factors. By examining the historical background of Jewish rejection, we can gain a deeper understanding of the complex reasons behind this enduring theological divide. Theological Differences Between Judaism and Christianity Theological differences between Judaism and Christianity have played a significant role in the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah by the Jewish people. One of the key distinctions lies in the concept of the Messiah itself. In Christianity, Jesus is believed to be the long-awaited Savior who will bring salvation to humanity. However, in Judaism, the Messiah is seen as a human figure who will usher in an era of peace and justice, without the divine attributes attributed to Jesus in Christian theology. Another theological difference is the interpretation of key prophecies in Jewish scripture. Christians believe that Jesus fulfilled numerous prophecies from the Hebrew Bible, such as being born in Bethlehem and being a descendant of King David. However, many Jews interpret these prophecies differently or do not see them as being fulfilled in Jesus. The role of religious authorities and traditions also plays a significant role in shaping the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah. Jewish religious leaders have historically been opposed to the idea of Jesus being the Messiah, as it goes against traditional Jewish teachings and beliefs. Additionally, historical events such as the destruction of the Temple have shaped Jewish perspectives on the Messiah, leading to a reluctance to accept Jesus in this role. External factors, such as Christian persecution and anti-Semitism, have also contributed to the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah by the Jewish community. The long history of persecution and discrimination at the hands of Christians has created a deep mistrust and skepticism towards Christian beliefs, including the acceptance of Jesus as the Messiah. Overall, the theological differences between Judaism and Christianity regarding the concept of the Messiah, as well as the influence of historical events and external factors, have all played a role in why the Jewish people reject Jesus as the Messiah. These differences continue to shape ongoing theological debates within Judaism and impact individual Jews' personal and spiritual reasons for rejecting Jesus as the Messiah. Cultural and Societal Implications for Jewish Identity Cultural and societal implications for Jewish identity play a crucial role in understanding why the Jewish people reject Jesus as the Messiah. Throughout history, Jewish identity has been shaped by a strong sense of community, tradition, and religious beliefs. Accepting Jesus as the Messiah would not only challenge these long-held beliefs but also disrupt the social fabric of Jewish society. The rejection of Jesus as the Messiah is deeply rooted in the theological differences between Judaism and Christianity. Jewish beliefs regarding the Messiah are based on interpretations of key prophecies in Jewish scripture, which shape views on the coming of a Savior. The role of religious authorities and traditions further reinforces the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah, as they uphold the teachings and practices that have been passed down for generations. Historical events, such as the destruction of the Temple, have also played a significant role in shaping Jewish perspectives on the Messiah. The trauma and devastation caused by such events have solidified the belief that the true Messiah has not yet come. External factors, such as Christian persecution and anti-Semitism, have further reinforced the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah. 
the fear of assimilation and loss of cultural identity have pushed many Jews to stand firm in their rejection of Jesus as the Savior. Overall, the cultural and societal implications for Jewish identity are deeply intertwined with the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah, the ongoing theological debates within Judaism, the significance of Jewish concepts of redemption and salvation, and personal and spiritual reasons all contribute to the steadfast belief that the true Messiah is yet to come. Chapter 3, The Messiah Question in Jewish Scripture Interpretations of Key Prophecies Interpretations of key prophecies play a crucial role in shaping views on the Messiah among the Jewish people. Throughout history, various prophecies found in Jewish Scripture have been scrutinized and analyzed to determine whether Jesus fulfills the criteria to be the long-awaited Messiah. One of the key prophecies that is often debated is the prophecy of the suffering servant found in Isaiah 53. Christians interpret this passage as referring to Jesus' sacrificial death on the cross, while many Jewish scholars argue that it is symbolic of the Jewish people as a whole, suffering throughout history. This fundamental difference in interpretation highlights the theological disparities between Judaism and Christianity regarding the concept of the Messiah. Moreover, the role of religious authorities and traditions cannot be overlooked in shaping the rejection of Jesus as Messiah. Jewish religious leaders have historically played a significant role in upholding traditional beliefs and practices, which often conflict with the teachings of Christianity. Additionally, the impact of historical events, such as the destruction of the Temple, has contributed to a sense of skepticism and caution among the Jewish people towards potential false messiahs. External factors, such as Christian persecution and anti-Semitism, have further reinforced the rejection of Jesus as Messiah among the Jewish community. The fear of assimilation and loss of cultural identity also play a significant role in this rejection. Overall, the interpretations of key prophecies in Jewish scripture, coupled with theological, cultural, and societal factors, have collectively contributed to the steadfast rejection of Jesus as Messiah among the Jewish people. The ongoing theological debates within Judaism regarding the nature of the Messiah and Messianic prophecies continue to shape individual beliefs and perspectives on this contentious issue. Role of Religious Authorities and Traditions The role of religious authorities and traditions plays a significant role in shaping the Jewish rejection of Jesus as the Messiah. Throughout history, Jewish religious leaders have been responsible for interpreting and preserving Jewish beliefs and practices, including the concept of the Messiah. These authorities often view Jesus as a figure who does not fulfill the requirements set forth in Jewish scripture for the Messiah, leading them to reject his claim to this title. Traditional Jewish teachings emphasize the belief in a future Messiah who will bring about a time of peace and redemption for the Jewish people. This concept is deeply ingrained in Jewish theology and is passed down through generations, reinforcing the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah. The influence of religious traditions and authorities can be seen in the ongoing theological debates within Judaism regarding the nature of the Messiah and Messianic prophecies. These discussions shape the way in which individual Jews view Jesus and his role in relation to their faith. Additionally, external factors such as Christian persecution and anti-Semitism have contributed to the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah among the Jewish community. These historical events have created a sense of distrust and fear towards those who claim Jesus as the Messiah, further solidifying the rejection of this belief. Overall, the role of religious authorities and traditions has played a crucial role in shaping the Jewish perspective on Jesus as the Messiah. This rejection is deeply rooted in theological beliefs, cultural identity, and historical experiences, making it a complex and multifaceted issue within the Jewish community. Chapter 4, Historical Events and External Factors Impact of the Destruction of the Temple The destruction of the Temple in Jerusalem in 70 CE had a profound impact on Jewish perspectives on the Messiah. For many Jews, the Temple was not just a physical structure but the very heart of their religious and cultural identity. Its destruction by the Romans was a devastating blow, leading to widespread despair and a sense of loss. In the aftermath of this catastrophic event, the Jewish people grappled with the question of how to make sense of their faith and their future. The absence of the Temple made it difficult to envision a traditional Messianic figure who would restore the glory of Israel and usher in a new era of peace and prosperity. The destruction of the Temple also had significant theological implications for Jewish beliefs about the Messiah. Without a central place of worship and sacrifice, the traditional role of the Messiah as a priestly figure became less relevant. Instead, some Jews began to emphasize the idea of a spiritual or symbolic Messiah who would inspire and lead the people in a more abstract sense. Furthermore, the loss of the Temple reinforced the importance of communal identity and solidarity among the Jewish people. In the face of external threats and persecution, the rejection of Jesus as Messiah became a way of affirming Jewish distinctiveness and resilience.
Embracing Jesus as the Messiah would have meant assimilating into a dominant culture that had brought destruction and suffering upon the Jewish community. Overall, the destruction of the Temple was a pivotal moment in Jewish history that shaped the rejection of Jesus as Messiah. It forced Jews to re-evaluate their beliefs and values, leading to a renewed emphasis on the importance of tradition, community, and faith in the face of adversity. Influence of Christian Persecution and Antisemitism The influence of Christian persecution and antisemitism has played a significant role in shaping the Jewish rejection of Jesus as Messiah. Throughout history, Jewish communities have faced persecution and discrimination at the hands of Christians, leading to a deep-seated mistrust and fear of anything associated with Christianity. The long history of antisemitism, fueled by religious intolerance and political agendas, has created a barrier between Jews and the Christian belief in Jesus as the Messiah. The atrocities committed against Jews in the name of Christianity have left a lasting impact on the Jewish psyche, reinforcing the belief that Jesus cannot be the promised Messiah. The persecution of Jews by Christians has only served to strengthen Jewish identity and reinforce the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah. The trauma of past atrocities continues to shape the collective memory of the Jewish people, making it difficult for them to accept Jesus as a figure of salvation and redemption. In light of this history, It is important for Christians to acknowledge the role that persecution and anti-Semitism have played in the Jewish rejection of Jesus as Messiah. By understanding the impact of these external factors, we can begin to bridge the divide between our two faith traditions and work towards a more peaceful and respectful coexistence. Ultimately, the influence of Christian persecution and anti-Semitism underscores the importance of promoting understanding, tolerance, and dialogue between Jews and Christians. Only through mutual respect and empathy can we hope to overcome the barriers that have long divided our communities and find common ground in our shared humanity. Chapter 5, Ongoing Theological Debates Views on the Nature of the Messiah Views on the nature of the Messiah vary greatly among different religious and cultural groups, with Judaism and Christianity holding particularly distinct beliefs on the subject. In the Jewish faith, the Messiah is seen as a future Savior figure who will bring about a time of peace and prosperity for the Jewish people. This figure is expected to be a descendant of King David, a righteous and just leader who will restore the Jewish people to their rightful place in the world. One of the key reasons why the Jewish people reject Jesus as the Messiah is due to theological differences between Judaism and Christianity regarding the concept of the Messiah. Christians believe that Jesus is the fulfillment of messianic prophecies in the Hebrew Bible, while Jews do not see Jesus as meeting the criteria set forth in their scriptures. This fundamental disagreement has been a major point of contention between the two faiths for centuries. Additionally, the cultural and societal implications for Jewish identity and community in accepting Jesus as Messiah are significant. For many Jews, accepting Jesus as the Messiah would mean embracing a faith that has historically been associated with persecution and discrimination against the Jewish people. This has created a deep-seated resistance to the idea of Jesus as the Messiah within Jewish communities. Overall, The rejection of Jesus as the Messiah by the Jewish people is a complex issue that is shaped by a variety of historical, theological, and cultural factors. Understanding these factors is essential for anyone seeking to grasp the depth of this centuries-old theological debate. Debates on Messianic Prophecies Debates on Messianic prophecies have been a central point of contention between Judaism and Christianity for centuries. The question of whether Jesus fulfills the prophecies of the Messiah as foretold in Jewish scripture is a complex and nuanced issue that has divided scholars, religious authorities, and communities. One of the key reasons why the Jewish people reject Jesus as the Messiah lies in the interpretations of key prophecies in Jewish scripture. While Christians believe that Jesus fulfills these prophecies, Jews have different understandings of what the Messiah will be like and what he will accomplish. This theological difference is a fundamental aspect of the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah by the Jewish community. Furthermore, the role of religious authorities and traditions plays a significant role in shaping the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah. Jewish religious leaders have historically emphasized the importance of adhering to traditional interpretations of Scripture and have been wary of deviating from established beliefs. This has contributed to a reluctance to accept Jesus as the Messiah, even in the face of external pressures and influences. The ongoing theological debates within Judaism regarding the nature of the Messiah and Messianic prophecies further complicate the issue. Different Jewish sects and movements have varying beliefs about the Messiah, leading to a diversity of perspectives on the subject. Ultimately, the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah by the Jewish people is a multifaceted issue that is influenced by historical, theological, cultural, and personal factors. Understanding these debates on messianic prophecies is crucial in comprehending the complex relationship between Judaism and Christianity and the reasons behind the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah by the Jewish community. 
Chapter 6, Jewish Concepts of Redemption and Salvation. Significance in Relation to Rejection of Jesus. In the subchapter Significance in Relation to Rejection of Jesus, we delve into the complex reasons behind why the Jewish people reject Jesus as the Messiah. This rejection is not just a matter of theological differences between Judaism and Christianity, but it also has deep cultural, societal, and historical implications for Jewish identity and community. One key factor is the historical context of Jesus' life and teachings in relation to Jewish beliefs and practices. The interpretations of key prophecies in Jewish scripture that shape views on the Messiah play a significant role in the rejection of Jesus as the Chosen One. Additionally, the role of religious authorities and traditions in shaping this rejection cannot be overlooked. The impact of historical events, such as the destruction of the Temple, has also influenced Jewish perspectives on the Messiah. External factors like Christian persecution and anti-Semitism have further fueled the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah. Furthermore, ongoing theological debates within Judaism regarding the nature of the Messiah and Messianic prophecies continue to shape the views of the Jewish community. Personal and spiritual reasons, including family and community ties, also play a role in why individual Jews may reject Jesus as the Messiah. Overall, the significance of Jewish concepts of redemption and salvation in relation to the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah underscores the deep-rooted beliefs and traditions that inform the Jewish perspective on this contentious issue. Personal and Spiritual Reasons for Rejection Personal and spiritual reasons for rejection of Jesus as the Messiah among the Jewish people are deeply rooted in individual beliefs, family traditions, and community ties. For many Jews, the idea of accepting Jesus as the Messiah goes against the core principles of their faith and the teachings of their ancestors. One of the primary reasons for rejection is the theological differences between Judaism and Christianity regarding the concept of the Messiah. Jews believe that the Messiah has not yet come, and when He does, He will bring peace and prosperity to the world. The Christian belief that Jesus is the Messiah does not align with this traditional understanding. Cultural and societal implications also play a significant role in the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah. Accepting Jesus would mean adopting a new identity that may conflict with Jewish traditions and practices. This can create tension within families and communities, leading individuals to resist the idea of Jesus as the Messiah. Additionally, personal interpretations of key prophecies in Jewish scripture shape views on the Messiah. For many Jews, the prophecies do not align with the life and teachings of Jesus, leading them to reject Him as the Messiah. Ultimately, the decision to reject Jesus as the Messiah is a deeply personal one, influenced by a combination of theological beliefs, cultural ties, and spiritual convictions. It is a complex issue that is deeply ingrained in the individual and collective identity of the Jewish people. Chapter 7, Conclusion Summary of Key Points In this subchapter, we have explored the complex and deeply rooted reasons why the Jewish people reject Jesus as Messiah. From the historical context of Jesus' life and teachings to the theological differences between Judaism and Christianity, we have seen how these factors have shaped Jewish beliefs and practices. The cultural and societal implications for Jewish identity and community in accepting Jesus as Messiah are significant, as the rejection of Jesus is deeply intertwined with Jewish history and tradition. Key prophecies in Jewish scripture play a crucial role in shaping views on the Messiah, while religious authorities and traditions have also played a part in shaping the rejection of Jesus. Historical events, such as the destruction of the Temple, have had a profound impact on Jewish perspectives on the Messiah, as have external factors like Christian persecution and anti-Semitism. Ongoing theological debates within Judaism regarding the nature of the Messiah and Messianic prophecies continue to shape views on Jesus as Messiah. The significance of Jewish concepts of redemption and salvation cannot be understated in relation to the rejection of Jesus as Messiah, as these beliefs are deeply ingrained in Jewish theology. Personal and spiritual reasons why individual Jews may reject Jesus as Messiah, including family and community ties, also play a role in this complex issue. Overall, the rejection of Jesus as Messiah by the Jewish people is a multifaceted issue that is deeply rooted in history, tradition, theology, and personal beliefs. Understanding these key points is essential in exploring the reasons behind this rejection. Implications for Understanding Jewish Perspectives on Jesus as Messiah the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah by the Jewish people is a complex and multifaceted issue that is deeply rooted in historical, theological, cultural, and societal factors. Understanding these implications is crucial for gaining insight into the reasons behind this rejection. One key aspect to consider is the historical context of Jesus' life and teachings in relation to Jewish beliefs and practices. Jesus' teachings often challenged traditional Jewish beliefs and practices, leading many Jewish scholars and religious authorities to reject him as the Messiah. 
The theological differences between Judaism and Christianity regarding the concept of the Messiah also play a significant role in the rejection of Jesus. While Christians believe that Jesus is the fulfillment of messianic prophecies, many Jews do not see him as meeting the criteria outlined in Jewish scripture. The cultural and societal implications for Jewish identity and community in accepting Jesus as Messiah are also important to consider. Accepting Jesus as the Messiah would mean embracing a faith that has historically been associated with persecution and discrimination, which can be a deterrent for many Jews. Interpretations of key prophecies in Jewish scripture that shape views on the Messiah, as well as the role of religious authorities and traditions in shaping the rejection of Jesus, are also significant factors to consider. Additionally, the impact of historical events such as the destruction of the Temple, external factors like Christian persecution and anti-Semitism, ongoing theological debates within Judaism regarding the nature of the Messiah, and personal and spiritual reasons for rejecting Jesus all contribute to the complex web of reasons behind the Jewish rejection of Jesus as Messiah. By exploring these implications, we can gain a deeper understanding of the complexities surrounding Jewish perspectives on Jesus as Messiah and the reasons behind the rejection of His Messianic claims. The rejection of Jesus by the Jewish people is a complex and sensitive topic that has been debated and discussed for centuries. It is important to approach this subject with respect and understanding for different beliefs and perspectives. It's important to note that the rejection of Jesus by the Jewish people is not a universal or monolithic stance. There are diverse opinions and interpretations within the Jewish community, just as there are within any religious or cultural group. However, there are several factors that are commonly cited in discussions about why many Jewish people do not accept Jesus as the Messiah. 1. Different interpretations of Messianic prophecies. One key reason for the rejection of Jesus as the Messiah is the differing interpretations of the Messianic prophecies found in the Hebrew Bible, Old Testament. While Christians believe that Jesus fulfilled these prophecies, many Jewish scholars and religious authorities interpret these passages differently, and do not see Jesus as meeting the criteria outlined in the Hebrew Bible for the Messiah. 2. Historical context. The historical context in which Jesus lived and the subsequent development of Christianity are also important factors. For many Jewish people, the history of Christian-Jewish relations, including instances of persecution, forced conversions, and anti-Semitic rhetoric, has contributed to a deep-seated mistrust and unease regarding the Christian interpretation of Jesus as the Messiah. 3. Theological differences. There are significant theological differences between Judaism and Christianity, including beliefs about the nature of God, the role of the Messiah, and the concept of salvation. These differences contribute to the divergence in views regarding Jesus' role as the Messiah. 4. Cultural and identity considerations. For many Jewish individuals, their rejection of Jesus as the Messiah is intertwined with their cultural identity, historical experiences, and the preservation of Jewish tradition. Embracing Jesus as the Messiah would entail a significant shift in religious and cultural identity for many Jewish people. 5. Respect for diverse beliefs. It's important to approach these discussions with sensitivity and respect for diverse beliefs. Just as Christians hold Jesus as central to their faith, Jewish people hold steadfast to their own beliefs and traditions, which have sustained them throughout centuries of history. It's important to recognize that discussions about religious beliefs are deeply personal and can be emotionally charged. Approaching these conversations with empathy, understanding, and a willingness to learn from one another is crucial in fostering mutual respect and dialogue. If you have further questions or would like to explore this topic from a different angle, feel free to ask.